up, Air Science? It's your girl, what's the and I'm here today with your personal reading. I said personal reading. I'm here today with your collective <laughs> reading. So I pulled the Oracle card. I already blessed my cards. I already shuffled my cards. And I already, you know, did all that. I pulled the Oracle card. And the Oracle card I got for you was Unleash Your Creativity. Put this back so It says Unleash Your Creativity. Look at that thing in the back. Can you up close? Okay, so, which is number 31. Let's see what that's about. Then we get into the tarot part of this. It says, your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. It says, allow your, <laughs> allow your imagination to run without limits and access new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be in innovative and birth unique creation creations if you are feeling stuck get up and move try new things meet people read books paint etc concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others do you have an affinity with gardening with gardening can you tell powerful stories are you technically in minded it says, can you whip up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to, in 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 to intervene. The more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. All right. So let's hop into the tarot part of this. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Give me the general energy for air signs, please. Give me the general energy for air signs. We got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. With the Two of Cups in reverse and the Hermit. Four of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups. I feel like that someone offered you something, you offered someone else something, and someone said no. Period. With this, my Up in the in reverse with this Two of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With this Hermit Virgo, I feel as if that you analyze the situation and someone, they could have offered you something so you could offer something to someone else. And they say just no because they feel like that it wasn't uh, valuable is what they're telling me. But they do have a page of cups. So this person, they do like you. They I won't say necessarily love you. I feel like they do feel some emotion towards you. But I do sense that with this focus on your creativity card, I sense that, that someone has something they need to focus on something that's valuable more than a relationship is what they're telling me how does people see um gemini libra aquarius air signs how do people see air signs we got the five of cups in reverse moving on from a situation going forward in your life i feel as if there was some depressive depressive energy about you or there could be some depressive energy about you i feel like that some of y'all could have let go of a situation regarding a relationship I get the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I do sense that there was, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. It's an energy here where uh, someone could, uh, me moving forward from a relationship, an old relationship, a past relationship, maybe because of a, due to a third party situation, but with this Five of Cups in reverse, I do sense some healing energy here. Because with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like that someone is working on something. Someone could be working on something that's financially stable. That's going to be in the financial stability. Someone could be working on something that's creative. If someone needs to focus on that, is what they're saying. It's like, don't let some the past relationship or some past soulmate distract you. Pray for this Nine of Pentacles. Deal with the High Priestess. And I feel like that you know that. I feel like... We got the High Priestess with the Six of Wands. I feel like that you know that you need to focus on whatever it is that you put an effort into. With the Six of Wands, and when it comes up, I feel like this is more of a career type uh, reading. When it comes up in careers, it's like having something passionate to do. I feel like that you know that you need to focus on whatever this is. Like they said, singing, writing, drawing, acting, comedy. Like whatever it is, you need to focus on that. Because it's going to bring you something financial. Or some stability is what they're telling me. I feel like that there was a player energy in your past that brought a lot of disruptive energy towards you. And they could have offered you something now and you just said, hell no. Or you, them, take it how it resonates. 
Yeah, with the Ace of Wands. I'm not going to take it because it failed, but there is, some, there is some passionate new beginning here. Rather it be with a... I feel like this is career-wise, though. But let's hop into the relationship part of this. Let's see how you feel about a particular person because this is a love reading. How do you feel about... How does um, air science feel about their person? How does air science feel about their person? How does air science feel about their person? The Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They tell me that this person, they had the bare minim minimum to offer. That's probably why you could have said no to this situation because this person, they couldn't um, actually like offer you something. I just saw the Chariot Cancer at the bottom of the deck. We got the Five of Wands in reverse with the Fool in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Cups. With this Five of Wands in reverse, I do flesh it that you are a are avoiding conflict from this person you are trying to stay out of out of ways with this person because with this full card i do feel there is a sense of uh i'm going off of my own little journey type energy air signs i feel like that you are realizing some truth to someone i do feel like that you still have overpouring overpouring love for this person with this ten of pentacles, there could this could be a family situation. This could be a living situation. You could talk to this person every damn day, but I feel like that there is a situation where two the two of you are just like growing apart. That's the energy that they're giving me. I do feel like that you want to take a new leap of faith, but it's it's scary. Yeah, with the queen of pentacles in reverse, with the lovers in reverse, the queen of pentacles she is committed. I feel like that there this could be a partnership where someone could live with someone, but I feel like that there is some new energy here. Someone could be sharing um, energy with someone else. It must. It can't be so much communication here. I do feel like that there is love here with this Ace of Cups. Yes, overpouring love. But I don't feel like there is no communication in the household or in this relationship at all. I feel like that uh, with this fool in reverse, it's giving me. I want to. I want to take a new route. I want to take a new direction. But it's also giving me like I want to stay and I want to love you type energy. With this lover series, this this could be um, twin flame energy, eleven eleven energy. I do feel like that someone, someone doesn't know. Yeah, with the seven of cups, someone could have been robbed of their energy. Someone could have been robbed of their emotions. With this hangman, I feel like that someone could have um, nourished a situation for enough. I feel like that someone could be greedy in this household. It could be some financial, um, financial uh, gain in this household. But I feel as if that someone, there is a greediness. Someone is greedy for emotion. Someone is looking for emotion. Someone is looking for nourishment. But I feel like that someone else is not getting it. So whatever that you're looking for in someone, is they're not reciprocating it. Is what they're telling me. I feel like that this is a situation that has lasted a long time. They're telling me at least 10 years, 5 years, 6 years, 7 It's it's because someone is now awakened and someone needs to go to their creative path. Someone it's like two people are growing apart, but it's not be it's not they're not growing apart because they don't love each other no more. They're growing apart because they have different paths of succeeding, is what they're telling me. How does how does this person feel about air signs? How does this person feel about air signs? How does this person feel about air signs? The devil in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse. I told you I was getting greedy energy. I told you that I was getting stinginess. At, and this could be something with financial. Yeah, with the knight of cups in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Yeah, this person, they could have some um, ill boundaries. That's what they're telling me. They could have some deceitful energy towards them with this devil in reverse. This could be a very codependent situation with this two of pentacles in reverse right here. I feel as if this person, they can't make a decision when it comes to you. I feel like with this emperor in reverse, this person, they have a, a very ill way of, of presenting themselves. In the household. Yeah, with the moon in reverse. This person, they could have some secrets. They could have some things that you don't know about. Someone uh, could uh, have uh, stepped outside of this relationship. 
because the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. And you got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone, there could be an energy here where uh, someone could be looking elsewhere. I feel, I feel a rejective energy. Yeah, with the Three of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel a rejective energy. You could be dealing with an uh, Earth sign. But I feel like with this Three of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sagittarius, this person, they're at a stop and go energy. I feel like that this person, they're very fucking wishy-washy because all the major arcanas are in the reverse. This person, they have a very ill way of showing you how they feel about you. This person, they, it's like they put in work, but only financial work. They don't put no emotion in. They don't put no effort in. This person, they could step out a lot because the emperor's in reverse. This person, they, they, uh, they're condescending. They're manipulative is what they're telling me. This person, they could have some, some addictions that have nothing to do with you. They could have a sex addiction. They could have a fucking, uh... They're telling me this person could even have disease, diseases that they that you don't know about. This person, they juggle back and forth between you and someone else. That's why I feel like as if when I said that someone offered something and someone said, hell no, it's because of this, it's because of this, this, it's not beneficial. Whatever this is, whoever this person is, it's not beneficial. Because this person, they're a liar. I feel like they're a cheater. Because this emperor in reverse, the emperor, that's the head of the household. Anything that, that's regarding money is in the upright, but anything that's regarding emotion is in reverse. Hmm. Let me see. Put on this emperor. Yeah, with the tower card. I knew it. Something, yeah, with the nine of cups in reverse. This this person, they uh they have a triggering, the a triggering, something triggers you with this person. Yeah, with the king of pentacles and upright, with the ten of cups, with the six of pentacles. This person, they give me a deceitful energy, they give me manipulative energy. This person, they think that they own for some reason. They think that they're better than somebody, they're better than you, is what they're telling me. This person, they could feel as if that they bring all the financial stability to the situation because the ten of the ten of pentacles is in, in the upright. They feel like they bring all the financial stability towards this situation, but I feel like that this person, they have this energy to them where they want to leave this household or they want to leave you out in the cold because and it, it could be you or them. Take it how it resonates. But Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like if that this person, they, uh, they're manipulative, bro. Like, they cheat. This person, they cheat. And I feel like that's why you're like, no. I'm picking up an Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius could have some new love coming. Because whoever that this person is, I feel like that this person, they're going to go away. This person, it's like they're showing up in your life, but the the energy in your life that they're showing up as, they're not, they're not even showing up as like a boyfriend or a lover. I feel like this is just someone that you settled down with. This person, they're going to have a rude ass awakening. Towards something. Because I like I said, I feel like I feel like I'm picking up an Aquarius. An Aquarius has new love coming. Cause you got the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Something new is coming for an Aquarius. Could we deal with a Capricorn or a Virgo? So let's get the outcome. Give me the outcome of the situation. Give me an outcome of the situation between air signs and that person. The three of pentacles in reverse with the eight of cups. Yeah. I feel like that this situation is going to end. If this has been a marriage, like if this was like a commitment that lasted 10, 20 years, this is ending. And it's only ending because this person, they have, they have... Whoever this person is, this person, they, they might go find love somewhere else, but that it's not going to last. Because they did, I feel like that this person, they did too much ill. It's too much ill negativity coming from their side. 
Like, whoever, I'm picking up, like, a strong cheater. Like, this person is a cheater. I feel like, um, air signs, you're going to walk away from this situation. I feel like that someone has to stop putting in work. I feel like that someone could have gotten you with the Ace of Swords. You will not leave real Aquarius. You have the strength card. You're going to walk away from this. Or someone's going to walk away. And whoever walks away, if this person, if the masculine energy walks away, they're going to go off and they're going to uh, go be with someone else. Whoever that they're going to be with, they're going to peep who they really are. Because I feel like that this person, they put on a mask to, to seem like that they're this spectacular smart individual they know how to run things but in reality this person they have an ill way of thinking and they're telling me it's something about how they how they was brought up in their household this person they get bored easily when they get bored they go cheat is what they're telling me you know with the will of fortune this situation is going to end it's going to come into a closing this could have been a karmic soulmate because Karmic soulmates, they disguised as twin flames, but the twin flame, they came out in reverse. The lovers came out in reverse. So I feel like that this is a situation where two people settled down together, but it wasn't supposed to last this long, honestly. Because whoever this person is, they, they don't know, they don't, they're not committable. They don't know how to commit. But I'm ending right there, air signs. It's a girl with ceases or personal bookings. You can email me with ceases10 at gmail.com. We can figure out your personal situations from there. Hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. Give it a like and share, subscribe. Bye. Love you lots.